Hey, Trevor Matthews here with another two minutes with Trevor. Today I want to talk about ohming out compressors, checking the winding resistance on three phase compressors. It's very important to understand that all legs or all windings should equal out. There's one type of compressor, our Scott T uh, design, where two legs will equal and one will be different, but the rest of them, they should all equal out. For example, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 1 ohm, and so on, on three phase compressors. I have a ZB30 here. How do I know what ohmage or winding resistance should I be looking for? You need to download Copla Mobile. In Copla Mobile, you can go in the uh, electrical section under winding resistance, it's gonna tell you. This one here I checked out is supposed to be 0.8. You should always be checking from the terminals because if you check from the contactor, and I've done this many times before from the low side or the compressor side, you could get weird readings, but that could be the contactor that's the issue. It could be the wires down to the compressor, it could be the connectors uh, of the wires, or it could be this terminal block right here on the compressor that failed. So just make sure you always do it from the compressor terminals. Do not do it from the screws like this, as you can see, it's not uh, reading properly. Do it right from the com compressor terminals. Look, I got 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0.9 this is telling me this compressor winding is good but this compressor is back here and it only ran for five days in the field and I check it with a high pot test and what a high pot is is checking the leakage of those windings and it instantly fails so these there's bad windings in this compressor Okay, sometimes you'll check it with your, your meter and it will say it's good, but when you go to do a megameter, it fails that. It has a bad winding, so just be aware of that. I'd love to hear your comments or questions. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.